opportunity to uh, provide a bit more of a personal take on our NHS Wales Bulletin and thought this might be a good way to introduce some of our, our, our issues this month. Um, um, first of all, I'd like to welcome our new ministers. We have uh, a cabinet secretary for health, wellbeing and sport, Vaughan Gething, and uh, a minister for public health and social services, Rebecca Evans. And you'll notice within their titles a broader take on what the NHS role is, particularly with a focus around wellbeing, which I think we should all welcome for the future. That's in part driven by Welsh Government's approach around the uh, Wellbeing and Future Generations Act, which we're going to have a responsibility to implement in this new term of government. Um, but a couple of other areas that we need to focus on, which are legislation from the previous administration. Um, we're going to have to focus on making sure that we can integrate our services around the Social Services Act, which was passed through recently. Um, Public Health Bill uh, is going to be a new focus for us in this new administration, and uh, there will be some work to pick that up and make sure that it's still very relevant to our approach for population health in Wales. Um, you might have seen some reflections on uh, the political manifestos and what they're going to mean and translating into what Welsh Government means. Some of the high profile areas uh, that we have been preparing some work on for ministers at this stage uh, would include uh, a new treatment fund for Wales, uh, a particular focus around GPs and primary care teams in terms of uh, recruiting into new roles and expanding some of our support for primary care, and also an increase in uh, care home thresholds and support for people who need to access uh, social care uh, through the care home environment. Um, we're also looking to, uh, however, do some preparatory work on strategy at this stage. So uh, Together for Health uh, will be finishing at the end of this year and we'll be providing some support for the Cabinet Secretary to make sure that he's able to set out some of the vision and expectations for the NHS and the care system in Wales. Um, one of the things that we're going to have to particularly to pay attention to, to though is a parliamentary review commitment that means about working across political parties for a future looking view of what the NHS is about. Um, a final comment from me, I had the opportunity recently to introduce the annual quality statement for Wales and I guess what that reminded me of is about how on a day-to-day -day basis all of our staff in all of our settings are providing great care to people at volume but with dignity at its heart and I just really wanted to take the opportunity to thank you for that and what you provide for NHS and the care system in Wales.